One thing that I've never really thought a lot about are human stampedes or really crowd crushing is probably what you'd face. Uh, with huge sporting events, large, huge concerts, uh, also different protests or rioting, uh, you know, with the police getting involved with, you know, water cannons or, you know, trying to disperse the crowd. There are a lot of ways that things can happen uh, in huge uh, arenas where people are gathered, but also in smaller venues, whether it's a nightclub, uh, it could be a church that's fairly large, or it could be a subway or even worse, an escalator. Uh, those are places where people are coming together in a narrow point and the press can actually suffocate. You can fall, you can be killed by just being trampled on. So we're gonna look at some different ways to be able to kind of get you out of that situation if you ever find yourself in a crowd crush. Now, a lot of times these events happen and the crowd doesn't even realize anything's going on. Uh, they're just kind of pushing toward a doorway or a, a way to get into some kind of venue or certain event. But there are also things that everyone knows and panic sets in. Uh, whether it's an active shooter situation, it could be a fire, uh, it could be even flooding or something you know that, that is unforeseen and that it actually causes panic within the crowd. When that happens, things heat up really quickly. Uh, there have been a lot of places where thousands of people, thousands, have died just trying to get out of the way. And over history, there's so many different instances where people have been killed because of these crushes. First thing you need to do when you go into any kind of large crowd is to look around and know your exits. That seems like something very simple, but you need to know where those exits are located. Most people will return to the place that they entered into. So you need to look at alternate ways to get out. Uh, most of these areas, as far as indoor type venues, are marked with exits. But a lot of times with temporary places like stadiums or even you know a concert, uh, it can be something that's kind of sprung up and you need to be able to look around and find those exits where you can get out quickly. Guys, it's six to seven people in a two meter square area that can create up to a thousand pounds of pressure. That's enough to bend steel. And when you have hundreds of people together pressing in, uh, again, it can just take the air out of your lungs. So the first thing you need to realize is that when a crowd crush begins is to get your arms and brace them up over your next to your chest. Get those arms up and it can protect yourself. It gives you a little bit of area to be able to push out uh, and so you can breathe. And that is a very important thing to do as soon as you start feeling the pressure. Because once that pressure starts and you have your arms next to your side, you lose the ability to even be able to raise your arms. Now, number three is to continue moving. Uh, going into the direction, you know, you're going to have to just keep going because if you stop, you have the possibility of being pushed down. And so you want to go ahead and just keep in that direction. Going against the crowd typically is not a good option and uh, it takes out all your strength and you need to at least be moving forward. But the best way is to move in a diagonal position. If you can start moving diagonally and just work your way out of the crowd, that is the best thing. Uh, and that's really early on. You need to start as soon as things start to pressure up. Uh, it's best just to go ahead and start moving in a diagonal position. Now these events have been studied. And so one of the best ways is what they call the accordion move and it's kind of moving in and out of areas because the crowd typically pushes and then it'll pull back. It'll push and it'll pull back. As it pulls back, it's great to be able to move a little bit and just kind of space your way through the crowd. Number four is to avoid those choke points. Uh, the areas where everybody's moving into that doorway, that's where the most pressure happens. And so trying to avoid those areas, whether it's again a doorway, a hallway, a corner, Corners can be very deadly. You can get pushed into it with no way to go. So trying to get, again, out of that crowd, avoiding that choke point where everybody's moving in that direction, go to another exit. And that's the best way to be able to get out. Uh, a lot of times there are hidden doorways. There are uh, small closets. Uh, there's even windows or things that you can get out of. And if you need to break a window, uh, you know, to save your life, you need to do it. But also you need to remain calm. One of the things about a crowd is that people begin to feed off of what's going on. And the more panic that starts, the more people start to panic. If you're screaming and you're yelling, you're just adding to the panic. Uh, 
one thing you can do is to just say please move back move back back up back up give us room give us space you know being able to give commands to allow people to hear now sometimes in a uh, a big crowd like that the noise can be so great that a lot of times they can't hear you but try to remain calm and try to give direct commands if it's possible now one of the biggest dangers is to fall and one of the big problems with falling is that with a group crowd pulled together uh, they can't move and you begin to move with the crowd I mean it's involuntary I mean you just move you're going with the crowd and it's a real tight press if you happen to fall down uh, what happens is it creates a vacuum a void and so people will fill in that void and then you're underneath being crushed you're being trampled if you do find yourself in that position get into the fetal position on your side cover your head and protect your head and this will also protect your lungs and be able to breathe somewhat never lay on your back never lay on your stomach uh, that is the most dangerous position to be in uh, one thing that can happen though is if you drop your phone you drop a billfold or your purse or pocketbook uh, that is a big problem to reach down and try to retrieve it let it go it's not worth your life now look for those areas that are high uh, if there's something you can climb up on, it may be a, a railing, it may be a fence, it may be just stairs where you can get up and get above the crowd. Uh, a lot of times if you're in an outdoor event looking for a tree, climbing up in it, uh, climbing over a fence, looking for areas that people are not using and use that as your means of escape. Guys, most importantly though is don't lose your humanity. Help others. If they fall, try to help them to get back up. Especially allow women and children to go first. Be polite. Be nice. Do the right thing. Uh, because these situations are somewhat diffused if people start to help one another and they kind of get their mind off of that direction that they're going and move more as a crowd that is looking out for one another. Guys, also don't be afraid to pray. In a situation like this, sometimes it's way beyond our control and that may be the only thing that saves your life. So guys, as crowds get bigger and bigger, just be prepared. Again, look for your exits, stay up, move in a diagonal position, look around, have your situational awareness on point. Uh, if there's a small doorway or a window, if there's a way to get up, to climb high, to get above the crowd, it's best to do it. Get yourself out of the position, get yourself out of the way. You not only will save yourself, but you'll also take some of the pressure off of those in front of you. Guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. It's one of the best resources on the web for those who are really looking to survive. There's a lot of world-renowned contributors there. We upload one video a week on the Insider. Uh, I'll have a link down below in the description. Check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now continuing to move, now, now continue moving. Okay. So it'll push and give a little bit of, uh, we can receive from any way. Okay. What's up? Don't you know, man, it's like 10 degrees out here? No, no, I didn't realize it. <laughs> Have a good day, man.